of Beards, Beers, and Barbecue. This week, we're making lollipop chicken, and I'm drinking the gold medal winning number 34 beer in the world according to Men's Journal, Brasserie St. James, Daily Wages. Get it. No more fearing the critics. Dedication, preparation, sweat the top when we finish. I'm talking houses in the riches. Clean our place when we finish. Now it's quit with Make sure you get your wood chips soaking a couple hours ahead of time before you start your barbecue. I'm using peach today. Uh, any fruit tree is going to be good on chicken. Um, hell, you can use hickory, mesquite, whatever you want. Um, basically, what you want to do, get yourself in, uh, one of these folding X Acto knives or utility knives at the grocery store. They're like five, six bucks. It's going to save your life when you're cutting this chicken. Um, when you're done with it, throw the blade out, get a pack of blades, they're $1.99 for five of them. Um, go ahead and just start cutting right before the meat starts on the chicken. Just rotate it around. Get it all the way through there. Okay. Do you have that done? And pull this down. And this piece here, get yourself an old towel, good rag, and uh, just rip the back end off of this. And I'll lean it with. Like that. Take it. Make sure you have a bowl for your mess. Now there's going to be this little bone here on the side. What I like to do is I put my finger in right where the bone is. Kind of just pry it away here. Just break it off. Throw it in. You can cut these tendons off. I just push them in because they're going to cook and no big deal. Make sure the skin gets pulled down. And then yank on this thing like you're trying to pull the meat off the bottom. Don't pull too hard, you might pull the meat off the bottom. And any leftover, just stuff it in there. Leave that bone exposed. It's going to make for a cool presentation when you serve the chicken. Just throw it on a pan. And start the next one. Uh, I'm on a mission to get it. No more fearing the critics. Dedication, preparation, sweat the top and we finish. I'm talking how... Alright, so what you want to do is get yourself a large pan, put a stick of butter in it. Um, your favorite rub, you got your chicken ready. Go ahead and just give it a good season. It doesn't have to be real heavy. Just a good coat. Okay, after you have them seasoned, take some tin foil, strip little pieces off, kind of cover the ends. That way the ends don't get burnt on you. Makes for a much better presentation because when these are done, they look pretty awesome. Once your grill hits 300 degrees, just throw the butter in the pan right on the grill. We're going to let that melt down. Once it's melted, we're going to put the chicken in. Once your butter is melted, add two tablespoons of chopped garlic. Just mix it in. And then, not a tablespoon, but your favorite rub. And go ahead and mix that in. Get that all mixed together. Go ahead and grab your chicken. Just get it placed in. What we're going to do <clears throat> is leave these on for about an hour and a half. Then we're going to check the internal temperature on them. We want them to be about 155 before we apply the barbecue sauce. Once you have your chicken all placed, go ahead and add some wood chips to the coals. Get this thing smoking. 
like I said, we'll come back in about an hour and a half and give them a check, see what the temperature is. We're going to want them at 155. Says, with belly in it, colors, the scars of being baller, man, you say your flow clean, huh? Please, I keep my polished, I'm just waiting for the moment to show them what they've been knowing, yeah, I keep a good balance. And Welcome back to Beards, Beards, and Barbecue. This week, we got K Riz and Lunatic Lecter here. They're from Light em Up Music, and, uh, you know, we're drinking that uh, Brasserie St. James Daily Wages. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Chris has got this uh, show going on. He's doing a halftime show for the Bighorns on March 3rd, and, uh, he wants to plug that a little bit. Chris, tell me about the show, buddy. Yeah, so we got, we got a show coming up March 3rd, uh, Big Horns. So, you know, if you want to come out, support your local uh, basketball team, come out there. We're going to be doing a halftime performance there. I got some cool music lined up, so uh, I think the crowd will really like that. But uh, basically just, you know, I want to talk a little bit about Light em Up Music. We started back in high school. We've been doing this for like seven to eight years now. Um, we have four artists, me, K. Riz, Tyler, Lunatic, Lecter. We got uh, DeAndre Defu. We also have Tony C. And um, one of our biggest things is enlightened through artistic expression. That's kind of our that's our motto right here that we have. And uh, that's just you know do what you love and enlighten through through whatever your artistic expression is. And um, that kind of helps other people do the same thing. And uh, you know for me as far as as what that's done, it's helped branch out into different different things. And uh, one of mine is ones on top. That's kind of my creation through that. And uh, that's just that's basically just whatever society and the government, whatever you know, has control over you. We still are the ones that are in control of our thoughts. You know, we control what we do. We control our reality, and we are the ones on top. So that's kind of what this is all about. And my motto for this is, "We the rulers," meaning you know, we are the ones in control. We can, we're the ones that can make a difference, and uh, that have the control and all that. So. You know, I like to, I'm doing a lot of different work right now. I'm uh, help sponsoring some artists, uh, putting, you know, Ty, if you hand me that shirt, I can kind of show you. We uh, we put that, so that's just a drawing an artist uh, B. Warren did. And uh, so we like put their tag on the bottom here. And uh, just to kind of help artists, you know, every, there's art, every art's everywhere. And I just kind of want to help promote that and put that on t-shirts, clothing, so artists can get their names out there as well. Um, so that's just kind of one of the other things I'm working on, but, uh, we just hope to basically help inspire people to just do what they love and, um, you know, help people inspire to do that and hopefully, you know, we'll get the best. Thanks, nice, man. So, Lunatic, you, uh, you're working with artists on beats and mastering and right. why don't you talk about that a little bit, man? And so, I mean, essentially, Light em Up, we're like this network, like you said, we've been together for a lot of years, so, you know, Chris, he's... He's been sponsoring all these artists. Well, I've been in the studio making beats, um, getting a lot of people in who've never had studio experience. You know, like if um, if you you feel like you want to take your your career professional and you just you don't know where to go, well, I'm one of the people who can help you out because I'm out here to find the real talent and push. I'm here for the real music. I'm not. I don't care about the uh, the money or any of that at the end of the day. I mean, what I represent, what me and a lot of my business partners have put together is uh, Free Gang, which is Forget Reality, Earn a Kingdom. And essentially that means, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, you gotta go to work, gotta do this and do that, but if you really focus your time, you'll get to where you wanna be. You just have to see your reality, see what you wanna make your reality, and just make it happen. So, I mean, if if you're out there thinking like my stuff's not good enough, don't let anybody tell you that. No, I it mean, is. It is good enough. It, it man. is. You gotta we, start somewhere. Just do it. You always got to start somewhere. So, like I said, if you ever think you need studio experience, you're watching this just on Facebook sometime. Like, hit me up, man. Lunatic Lecter. Uh, also go by Sty Knight. That's another one of my aliases. Uh, Ty Knight. Another one of my aliases. You know. Um, but light them up music. We're always good people to know. You know, we got a lot of homies here today. You know, shout out uh, Rocky Horror, uh, Mike Taylor, uh, Keddy. DJ Keddy, DJ Keddy in the house. Tony uh, Rocky Horror's in the house. Mike Taylor's in the house. <laughs> I mean, we got the whole crew over here. I mean, like Tyler was or Lunatic Collector was saying, if you don't believe in yourself because somebody told you that it doesn't sound right or it's not good enough then nobody's going to believe in you. Yep. Believe in yourself first. Do what you're going to do. Exactly. Give a damn about what other people think. Now, guys, I know you guys just did this big um, 
charity deal, right? Yeah. 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 Why don't you guys talk about it? Now, don't talk over each other, but, you know, we'll talk <laughs> about it, all right? Yeah, we did the Make Them Smile, man. That was a really cool thing that we got to put together, the charity event. And uh, that was uh, during Christmas time. And it was basically just giving back to the community, the kids that don't have, you know, the opportunity to get gifts and get, you know, presents under the tree on Christmas. And so, you know, we kind of put our heads together and we're like, let's, we want to do something for the community as he does, you know, for everybody getting their name out. And uh, so we put on, we helped sponsor some local comedy acts. Um, we also put some live bands together, some hip hop acts. Uh, yeah, we, we did our... Got a, got a lot of donations out. We had we a, a filled up the toy box, I think, twice. And then yep. we went to Walmart, got two sharp shopping carts full of uh, toys for kids. And I mean, it's just a great deal. You look around every day and you don't realize uh, how much people take for granted or how many people don't have things you may see every day like just this glass for instance like there's people on the streets right now who never held a beer glass in their hand so yep it's it's cool to be able to give a kid a bite you exactly know, give a kid an action figure exactly yeah that was a uh, really good turnout man and um you know, it's all about just people doing what they love. You know, we had the comedies, we had the acts, but, in, you know, together it took everybody with the fans, the venue. Um, shout out to Studio on 4th for letting us do that. They even donated all the uh, all the funds for In the Door, you know, so they gave us money to go donate. And um, Our Town Design Works. Our Town Design our, Works. Our guest last week, Our Town Design Works, was involved with this yeah, too. Yeah, he did. Sponsored first 50 people through the door, got free t-shirts made by Our Town Design Works, who he does all of our all of our. Work for our Not apparel. only that, but he does beards, beers, and barbecue shirts. So if you ever need anything for apparel, for you know, getting your name out there and marketing, which is huge right now, um, go to Art Town Design Works, man. He really helps you out. Ben's an awesome guy, and uh, he's always down for the cause. Yeah, and just one thing I want to add before we uh, wrap this up real quick. Um, you know, all this adds up to, you know, forget reality, earn a kingdom. We enlighten through artistic expression, and we are the rulers. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, do what you love. Find yep. your niche, you know. Yep. Rob, you got beers, beers, and barbecues. Yep. You know, a lot of people may not know this, but I, I'm at work with Rob five days out of the week. So, you know, I kind of saw this come to light, and it almost, like, fueled my fire. Like, yeah, yep. we we are on the right track. Like, everybody's got their thing going, and as long as you keep pushing, something will happen. Exactly, and it helps inspire people. Like, you know, everybody... There's probably a bunch of people that like to barbecue on Saturdays Absolutely. and do this and that, but you know, for thank you for taking it to the next level and helping people like us, you know, Mike Taylor, everybody kind of get their name out there. You know, you could just barbecue every Saturday, or you can make it something. You know, why don't you, you know, make it, make it brand it, make it something, and and help people make something out of it as well. And uh, so I just want, you know, we want to thank you, you know, hey, gentlemen, thank you very much. Of course, I appreciate you guys coming over here and. and uh, Enjoying beer with me. Heck yeah. I'm going to enjoy some Olipop chicken. Check these guys out. Light them up. They're doing good stuff for the community. Yep. This is Beards, Beers, and Barbecue. We're all about the community. We're all about the local artists. All about local small business. Thanks to St. James and their Daily Wage Brew. Delicious. And uh, let's get to this chicken, guys. Let's get to this chicken. It. If you ever want to check us out, we do have a website, www.lightemupmusic.com. Same thing, Facebook, Facebook yeah, Light Em Up, up Music, uh, Instagram, Light Em Up Music, Twitter, Light Em Up Music. It's pretty simple. And then also, he was saying if you need to get a hold of him, or either Chris or him, or K Riz here, you know, you can message me yep. on the uh, Beards, Beers, and Barbecue page, and I will get you in contact with these guys. And uh, hey, thanks get for watching. Lunatic Collector and K Riz here. Hey, gentlemen, check this chicken out. Dude, We're almost is, done here. This looks right? too good. All right, so been a couple hours. We're at 155. We're going to pull these bad boys off, take them in the house, dip them in the barbecue sauce, and throw them back on the grill. All right, so we got these in the house. I've had my barbecue sauce. Whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is, go ahead and use it. I prefer sweet. It's called lollipop chicken, not spicy chicken. So make it a little sweet sauce, you know. Um, go ahead and peel the foil off. Leave them clean like that. Dip them in your barbecue sauce. Then throw them on a rack. After you get them dipped in the barbecue sauce, go ahead and throw them back on the barbecue for about a half hour. Let that uh, sauce caramelize on the chicken. Lollipop chicken is done. Hit uh, 165 internal temperature. Safe to eat. K-Riz, 
Lipstick well, Electric, what do you think? That yeah. looks amazing, my yeah, man. Let's get let's get to the next scene to where I start eating this. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Dude. All right, so we got uh, T.J. Ketty here, Mike Taylor, Tony Rocky Horror, mm -hmm. Lunatic Lecter, K. Riz, and then uh, Brasserie on the beers for the daily wages. Thanks, guys. Cheers. All right, yeah. let's get into this uh, lollipop chicken, guys. Yeah, it looks amazing. Mm. Right. That beer is awesome, though. Alright, beer uh, first, chicken second. Uh -huh. oh, let's get into it. Mmm, that's delicious. Oh my god. With belly any colors, the scars of being baller, man, you say your flow clean, huh? Please, I keep my polished, I'm just waiting for the moment to show them what they've been knowing. Yeah, I keep a good balance and energy to keep it going. Huh, it's all your perspective, how you interpret these lessons. We're the learning from the best. Just